fear is very strong. There's a ministry of propaganda that says you will never, you know, deal with me. I'm bigger than you are, you know. And I think the only, fear is a, a, one of the deep things for meditators. I think it's a good thing to come across. It's not even that. That's even trying to put in a box. It's just here. Even before it's human, it's more naked than that. It's here. And then I think we try to keep things... Enlightenment is about not keeping things off us. I have a personal narrative about that because I, I thought, I, you know, I was really, really very, had a very idea of a very, you know, powerful notion that you had to... Zen was a kind of, um, I don't know, actually I don't know how I can characterize it well, but there was definitely a martial quality to the way I took it on. And so the thing I was afraid of was being afraid. I wasn't afraid of anything. I wasn't afraid of pain or those other things, weren't, losing sleep or people hating me. Fine, I'm going to get enlightened. I can deal with all that. <laughs> but being afraid, and then that was the thing I need to embrace. You know. It was all right to be afraid. You know. Like it's beautiful in a way. It means that you're participating in life. You, know. you love the world. See, the perfection is in the fear. It's not even when you're beyond the fear. That's complacency. <laughs> And there's a flowering happens when then you're not afraid of anything because you're there. Like, or we might say the darkness is there. You're there, but you're not, you're not having to be a certain way. So here's the thing about Cohen work um, that we've discovered as a team, actually, the leadership team, I, that I thought was really great. <laughs> I was thrilled about this. Cohen work never makes your heart smaller or less generous. Like, and if you're using it for that, be generous with that. <laughs> but it's not about making you, like putting you in a idea of a who, of a who you should be, right? It can't be that, right? It doesn't make sense, you know. You're more, you're more free than that, more strange. And even your grief is in the service of wisdom. Even your, whatever it is that you don't like about yourself or, you know, your fears. Well, fear is a profound thing, and, and, and so if you can befriend your fears, yeah, it's sort of, it's very close to wisdom, fear. Yeah. That's the other side of fear, is this clarity. Yeah.